data uh, make this particular distribution. And the mean or the average salary is 24,419.57, so 24,419 euros, uh, with an associated standard deviation of 17,075 euros. Great. That's nice to have uh, as descriptive information to go along with your charts. But let's just keep uh, keep in mind that the mean and the standard deviation are great measures when our distribution is asymmetric or non-illustrative. And what we can probably see in this situation here from an analysis perspective is that this distribution is positively skewed. You can see it tails out in the positive direction. Okay. Uh, so that's one of the observations that we could make uh, with respect to th this particular distribution. Okay. So hopefully you can see it actually to generate a histogram in SPSS, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, but let's delve in, let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. Uh, and I'm wondering, okay, say if I want to create a histogram, but this time a histogram for the male salaries and the female salaries, uh, how would I go about doing that? Okay. So there's many ways we can do this. Uh, let's just like go back into our graphs, into legacy dialogues, and down into histograms. And you can see there's some other options here. It says panel by rows and it says panel by columns. Okay. Uh, so if we want to create different panels or different views of the current salary variable, we can actually put another variable in here in the rows category that will break this particular salary up uh, dependent on the, the levels of measurement associated with the rows variable. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm just going to take gender and I'm just going to put it into this particular, in, in, in into this particular uh, category here. Uh, and I'm just going to hit OK again. Okay. And what we can actually see now in this situation is that our distributions, okay, uh, we've been given two distributions. The top panel here is for females. You can see it's positively skewed as well. The bottom panel here is for males. Once again, you can see it's positively skewed. But one thing that's probably missing here is, uh, well, not missing, but one of the one of the obvious things seems to be that there, there doesn't seem to be any observations uh, with respect to females uh, that are beyond this particular point. In other words, beyond the maybe the sixty thousand euro mark, yeah, with respect to salaries. And that's that's a great way, uh, I suppose, where we can actually we can contrast uh, across different different, I suppose, groups within a particular, that, that, that compose a particular variable. Okay? That's a very obvious thing here, is that there's a lot of males, or whether well there are males, yeah, that uh, have salaries above 75, above 65,000 euros, and even above 125,000 euros, where there doesn't seem to be any females that have salaries above that particular panel. Okay. I actually like this particular, this particular graph here, okay, this distribution because it provides the basic descriptive statistics. Okay. So let me show you an alternative way that we can actually produce the female and also the male uh, distribution with respect to cur current salaries. Okay. So another alternative is to split the file, okay, which is to go to data, okay, uh, split file, okay, and tell SPSS that we want to organize the output. Uh, well, we can organize the output based on groups, so we're comparing groups or we can organize uh, just the output by groups. So that's what I'm going to choose here. So I'm going to organize output by groups and I'm going to put the gender the gender variable in here. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see within SPSS it says sorted cases by gender. The split file is separated by gender as well. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rerun this particular this particular graph now. So I'm going to go to graphs, legacy dialogues, histogram, I'm just going to remove gender from the rows category. Okay, uh, so we just have the variable is current salary. I'm going to hit OK, and what you can actually see here now is that the output is the output for females has come out here, okay, and the output for males has come out here. So now you have two separate charts, yeah, uh, and we also have the basic descriptive statistics uh, that go along with each chart. It's probably nicer like this, and you can actually just maybe if you're going to take these outputs. You can click on them, right click, copy special, you can copy them as an image, okay, and then you can take that image and put it into your Word document or whatever particular type of whatever particular type of uh, uh, format, file format that you're using for your, your, your report. 
Uh, but what's really nice about this is that the s the current salary axis is as well defined here with respect to females, and it's also well defined here with respect to males. Whereas when we use the panel option here, when we output by rows, you can see well the axis is well defined here for the male distribution. It would be nice if we had that axis up here for for this particular panel, but we don't have it there. Okay. Uh, guys, I hope this was somewhat helpful. This is one of our first videos in relation to generating graphics through SPSS. Uh, there is other videos in this particular series, doing box plots and so on and so forth. Uh, so once again, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video was somewhat helpful.